still factoring trinomials with you because actually this is one of the hardest topics in factoring. Many people struggle with factoring trinomials where the coefficient in front of the x squared term is not a 1. This one thing I, I have failed to, to tell you, this um, AC method works for all trinomials. It works for those where A is equal to 1. But that type of problem is so simple, it's not necessary to go through this whole process of grouping and making this into two terms and, and um, grouping the first two and the last two. So it is only makes sense to spend time on and use this process when this is not equal to a 1. The next couple problems I'm going to show you are much like the one I did in the last video clip, the last segment, um, but I'm just making sure to deal with different signs, although this one is very similar to the last one. So A times C is 30. So I'm looking for two numbers whose product is a positive 30, and I want those to add up to be a negative 17. So again, these two numbers both have to be negative in order for the, their product to be positive and for them to add to be a negative number. Now this is a good example where I can show you my thought process in terms of listing, although it's, it's, it's probably not even necessary to go through the whole list. But I always use 1 and the number itself, and then I ask myself, does 2 go into there? And I'm not even going to stop right here, um, because that is my, my two values. And I say to myself, does 3 go into 30? And it goes in there 10 times. And then I say my, to myself, does 4 go into 30? No. And then I say to myself, does 5? go into 30. And then, you know, I could say the 6 go into 30, but I've, I've got that pairing already. So those are all the numbers whose product is 30. And I'm looking for the pairing whose factors, this negative 2 and the negative 15, will add to be a negative 17. So right here, I can replace the minus 17x with either a minus 2x and a minus 15x, or I could write it as a minus 15x minus 2x. It will work both ways. Then I'll bring down this 10, and I'll bring down this 3x squared, and I will go ahead and group the first two. Be careful right here. Minus sign in front of the third term is just a little bit trickier, so I'll, I'll swipe, swipe that, and I'm going to grab that sign. In, in the parentheses, and here I'm going to factor out a greatest common factor of x. And when I do, this is what I need here, because x times 3x is 3x squared, and x times a minus 2 is a minus 2x. And the greatest common factor here is a 5, but I got a negative sign right there. And I want what's in this parentheses to start with a positive 3x, so I better factor out a minus 5 so that I can put a 3x here, and this product will be that minus 15x. But therefore, I'm going to need a minus 2 here, because a minus times a minus is that positive 10. And then now, those common binomials will go in one of my groupings, and this x minus 5 will go in the other. Let's do another. I'll give you a minute to, to catch up with me. Maybe I'll just go ahead and put the new problem up here while you're, in case you're, you're still writing. A little hard to see through my arm, I'm sure. All right. So take a look at this trinomial. And I would like two numbers whose product is a negative 84. 6 times a negative 14. Product is a negative 84, and I want them to add to be a negative 17. So let's see. Product has to be a negative number, negative 84. So one's got to be a plus sign, and one's got to be a minus sign. Let's go ahead and, and write that down here. One's got to be a plus, one's got to be a minus. Also, is there any chance that you could say to yourself, one of the numbers, absolute value anyway, one of the numbers is, is bigger than the other. I would like the negative number, if you will, to be my bigger value, because I want these to add to be a negative number. So as I list 1 and 84 here, for example, 
I want the 84 to be negative because I want the 1 and the negative 84 to add up to be a negative, a negative value again. That's not going to work. And so next, I'm going to go with a positive 2 and a negative 42. Their product is a negative 84. Let's go with a positive 3, and I've previously done this, so I don't have to think too hard about it, and a negative 28. Probably not adding yet, so I just keep going 2 divided by 84, 3 divided by 84. I say to myself, does 4 go into 84? And it goes into there 21 times. And I say to myself, does 5 go into 84? No. Does 6 go into 84? I think it does. 6 goes into 84 uh, 14 times. Does 7 go into 84? Does 8 go into 84? Does 9? Nope, those don't go in. I'm probably there. I've probably already gone by the value that works. I want these two numbers to add to be a negative 17. And it looks like this is the pairing. 4 plus a negative 21 are the two numbers that add to be a negative 17. When I get two numbers where one of them's positive and one of them's negative, I tend to put my negative number first and my positive number second. So that this, which is the middle, the sign in front of the third term, when I bring down this minus 14 and when I bring down this 6x squared, I have a plus sign in front of this third term. This isn't necessary, but it just doesn't, when I go to group this, it doesn't make me have to think too hard. I get to not worry about, if that were a minus sign, swipe swiping and changing that sign. And so here, I'll just pull the greatest common factor out of a 3x, it looks like. And then I need a 2x here, because that product is 6x squared. And then a minus 7, because that product is that minus 21x. The greatest common factor here is a 2. And when I pull that 2 out, I need a 2x here, and I kind of peek over here to see if it's it, what I'm looking for. And that is that 4x. And then a minus 7 here, because 2 times a minus 7 is that minus 14. And I kind of peek again over here and say, oh, good. They matched. And so I'm going to have this in its factored form as 2x minus 7 times 3x plus 2. Guaranteed works every time, all the time. Um, I think I'd like to, to stop the video so you only have to watch about 7 or 8 minutes at a time. I've got a couple more problems I'm going to share with you in the next clip.